Will your business hold up? Today we're talking about how to audit your travel business to make sure you are in line with industry standards and also understand what it really means to have a healthy travel business. I'm gonna share the cycle of that model with you today. Also how to blast past those plateaus. If that sounds like fun, keep on watching. That's what we're doing on the show today. All right, guys, don't forget to take a moment to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell right here on YouTube. We bring you amazing content every single week to help you with your travel businesses, and I don't want you to miss a thing. If you're new here, type a little I'm new in comments so I can welcome you to our community. And if you're not new, welcome back. My name is Cindy Williams. I'm the CEO and founder of Wanderlust Campus. You can find all of our information at travelschool.com. Big celebration here this uh, month, guys. We just found out we're on the Inc. 5000 list this year, which means we're not only fastest growing in the industry, we're fastest growing in the United, United States business-wise. Huge accolade, and we're so proud of that. Most of that is because of you, our students and alumni that have taken the Wanderlust Campus programs to grow your travel businesses. So we're celebrating. So enough about that, though. Today we are talking about how does your business measure up, right? We're going to talk about first off, um, really what does a healthy cycle of a travel business look like? So when I think about a healthy travel business, I'm going to give you guys an analogy here in a second, but before I do, I want you to grab this free resource. And this is part of our celebrating this month. We're giving away some free resources right out of Wanderlust campus. Uh, you can visit us at wanderlustceo.com slash goal map. I'll link that down below, but you can grab this goal map for free. And after we do today's, uh, show, I encourage you to then go and fill out your goals. That will really help you get clear, figure out what you need to do if you need to do anything, but let's get into it. So let's talk about that healthy business model. So I want you to picture, if you will, a bucket. Have you ever heard of the, the leaky bucket scenario in business? If you haven't, I'm going to explain it to you now. You want to think about your travel business as a bucket and the clients that you have in that bucket, think of them as the water. Maybe it's half full. Let's say you have a half full bucket. Now in every business, particularly travel businesses, you're gonna have always a steady little leak that's happening. So picture at the bottom, if you will, a little leak happening at the bottom of your business. That's what's called your attrition. The leak represents the clients that you are losing every year or every month in your travel business. And these might be people that just aren't traveling anymore. Maybe you made a mistake on their last trip and they're not, they don't want to work with you anymore. It could be, could be a, a, one of the, a service reason, or it could just be they're aging out of travel. They're not going to travel anymore, or they moved away and they want to work with someone local in their next area that they moved to. There can be a variety of reasons for attrition, but the point is you're always going to be losing a few people every single month or every single year in your bucket of business. This is why it's important that you are always filling the bucket at a rate that is faster than you are losing clients. So we call that the hose, right? We're going to put the hose in the bucket and the water is going to come in. Those that represents your new clients. The hose is really think about that. Like as your marketing, right? Your marketing is going to bring new customers in. You're going to have a chance to keep them in that bucket as well. Now here's the scenario. As long as you are adding more clients in than you are losing from the bottom of your bucket, you have a healthy, resilient business. The minute you try to stand still and go, I don't need marketing. I'm not going to market. I don't need to pay for marketing. I'm not going to worry about it. I have enough recurring clients. You have to remember, you're always going to be losing a few. So you're never standing still. You're either moving forwards in business or you're moving backwards. So it's your responsibility as you're growing a healthy travel business to make sure you have that steady flow coming in at a faster rate than you have them going through that attrition process or you're losing them out of the bottom of the, of the leaky bucket. So think about this as you really want to go after having a solid recurring business model. That is your goal with your travel business. So think about that leaky bucket. And then also remember your goal is to be a robust, successful travel business. So you want to go after that recurring business model and follow that philosophy of adding in more and losing less. All right. So, um, 
let's go into the next one, which is assessing where you are kind of on this, this stage. So when I look at the full operations of a travel business, if I'm consulting with a company or someone's in one of my programs and they're working with us and we're looking at what they already have set up, this is an assessment that I would do. So I want you guys to think about this and keep in mind, let me give you a frame of reference just so you know what is possible in this industry. I Last month, I got the beautiful opportunity to go on Utopia of the Seas. We do a lot of work with Royal Caribbean and kind of you know supporting uh, our students and learning about their products and services. And then also our agency sales. We have agency sales. So we got an invitation to go on Utopia. On the Utopia, I saw a ton of our students from Wanderlust Campus uh, agents, agency owners that we've worked with that went from not being in the travel industry to now getting these invitations because they're top sellers in the industry. Fantastic. The next week, not even the next week, the day I got off the Utopia, I went right down to the GTM conference. If you don't know what the GTM conference is, this is put on by the North Star Travel Group. If you ever heard of Travel Weekly, they also run Travel Weekly. Every year they have a big conference that is invitation only. And the only way to get in there is through your sales. So either as an agent, you have to have over a million dollars in sales or an agency owner, you have to have multi-million dollars in sales. And guys, the room was full. All, we had a ton of our grads at the GTM conference as well, which just shows you it is possible to do big things in your travel business. I just want you to think about that as a frame of reference because I'm gonna give you these criteria and I want you to understand this is not out of reach stuff. This is normal stuff you should be aspiring to do. If you're not there yet, don't give yourself any guilt over that. All of us were new at one point. This is just about doing an assessment, but I wanted to share that with you so you understand easily these things are possible when you apply the right learning, consulting, technology, different things that you are doing to grow your travel business. So let's go through that list. Are you? Do you have leads coming into your business every single week? And I'm not talking about Aunt Sally and Uncle Joe or your friend from college. No, leads are people you don't know. Are they coming into your business by way of a marketing mechanism? And that's number two. So one, do you have uh, unique leads coming into your business every week that you don't know, that are not referrals? Number two is do you have a real multifaceted marketing plan in place? Remember we talked about that hose in the bucket? That's a real plan and I'm not talking about just, oh, I read some feeds and I think I know what I'm doing on Facebook or social media or whatever. No, I'm talking about, are you employing real strategy? Do you have paid ads running? Are you employing direct mail? Or are you doing local shows? You're doing some guerrilla marketing techniques, signage, all different ways that you can market. We have a whole list of them in our programs, but whatever marketing mix you have, do you know how to make the strategies work? Do you know if they're getting you the right quality of leads and are they delivering those leads? So do you have a real marketing in place is number two, yes or no. Number three, are you selling between $20,000 to $40,000 every single month? And you might say, Cindy, where did you come up with these numbers? Well, I am glad you asked. So uh, this spring I was at the ASTA conference and uh, if you don't know who ASTA is, it's the American Society of Travel Advisors. They're our association in the industry. And they have said, you know, in order to get to the level where you can be considered kind of a verified agency by the, associ the National Association, at a minimum, here's what you need to be doing. You need to have two years of experience and one of those years has to be $500,000 in sales. So if you break that down, 500,000 divided by 12 months, that averages around $40,000 in sales every single month. That is to just get to the first barrier of being like a verified agent, right? Um, or their second criteria is you've been in the industry for five years and all five of those years you've sold $250,000 or more. Do the math on that, that's roughly $20,000 a month as well. So think about that as a framework and if you are not already selling twenty dollars to $40,000 as a mark, uh, at, that's asked as like base level benchmark. So you absolutely can hit those numbers. You should be hitting those numbers. In fact, the top agencies will be exceeding those numbers and getting more into the million dollar plus mark. So think about that. If you're not there yet, it's okay. Again, no hard feelings. That's not what this video is about. It's about understanding where you are and where the gaps are so we can fix them. But that's where those numbers come from. All right. Then the next thing I want you to look at. So number three is, are you at 20 to 40,000? Yes or no? Yes or no. Number four on my list is, 
Are you getting recurring clients? Remember, that's part of our healthy business model. So everyone that you booked last year, how many of them came back and booked with you again this year, okay? Think about that. A healthy number should be at least 50% of those clients should come back to you unless they're not traveling anymore. Obviously, we're not gonna count those, but if they're active and traveling and taking vacations, why didn't they come back to you? There may be a service issue, there may be a concern, there may be a change in the market, there could be a plethora of issues, but something I bet we could fix could get that ratio higher where you're building more of a recurring model, which is uh, one of the things we teach in Wanderlust Campus. Um, next one is automations for really three different areas of your business. Have you automated your marketing processes, your sales processes, and your service processes? There is technology that is not expensive that you literally can use to automate these functions in your business to give you work-life balance back. And that's the thing, these million dollar, multi-million dollar sellers, they are not running their business by waking up at five in the morning and working till midnight every night. Like I have not just my uh, travel uh, Wanderlust campus, but we also have our agency as well. So I run a few businesses. I actually have three different businesses that we run within the travel industry. The only way I can have three successful businesses is because I am leveraging the crap out of technology and automation and I have everything systematized. So you wanna make sure, you don't have to do it all at once, but you wanna make sure you're moving towards that automation and having systems in your business. This is the difference, guys, between hobby level, hobbyist agents, and people who are really trying to do this in a serious way. If you are not doing these things or you didn't answer yes to most of the things we just went through, I promise you, you are leaving thousands of dollars on the table every single month that could be driving more business into your travel business easily. Um, so think about that, that's a big deal. Now, number three uh, on this list, after we've done the self audit, you've done the audit, maybe we feel good about it, maybe we're not sure what, how to feel about it, listen, just let it settle, let it sink in for a second. Next thing is how do you blast past plateaus, okay? So you just went through this audit and I want you to first give yourself a pat on the back for one, showing up and being willing to learn, being willing to ask the questions that are gonna get you to the next level. But also whatever you did till now to get to whatever level you're at, you did it yourself. Who cares if you were a DIY doctor, right? You did as much as you could. You scoured the internet. Maybe you watch all 800 videos on this channel. You did all the things you knew to do, right? Great, you are where you are, but how are we now gonna get you to that next level, right? That's what you wanna think about. And this is, like, here's the good news. We know it can be done. We've been at the conferences. You guys have seen the videos. We know that it's possible. We've seen the, the data from Asta. We know it can be done, but here's the real talk. If you want to do the things that you see, you wanna get the results you see other people getting, you have to either do the things they did or you have to really stop and go, okay, I have to retire my DIY mentality and now it's time, it's exciting. Your business is now ready for the next step where you need consulting, you need support, you need that next level to kind of grow and break past that plateau. There's nothing wrong with that and listen, you guys, I made a lot of mistakes in my career. I've been in this industry 31 years. Um, I went through a phase of thinking I could figure it all out and do it all and I was very resourceful, very smart, which I was all of those things. But when I realized when I could buy my, buy my way into success, kind of, I could hire someone that could answer a problem or solve a problem in my business for me that would then allow me to make more money and get past that plateau, then I was like, oh my gosh, I get it. I get it. It was like, oh, like the moment, right? You're only gonna get as far as you can get because you don't know what you don't know. I didn't understand automation or AI or all, a lot of the things that are, that are cornerstones in my business today. I did not understand until I hired someone to teach me about it or I, learn, or I learned it or I did something to kind of bridge that gap, got a consultant, whatever. So you've done what you can done, do on your own, that's fantastic, but start thinking like a true business owner now if you wanna get to the next level. So think about this. Those things on the assessment, are you doing them at a high level today? The marketing plan, the automation, driving leads to your business, 50% bounce back rate on your clients, um, and selling 20 to 40K. If you're not, then we just gotta fix it. We just gotta fix those problems. We'll do it, it's all good. 
Um, if you want to be on the path to six plus figures, you want to come out to these events, get the invitations, start kind of on that path to being a super successful agent. The answer to those is yes. Maybe you want to move part-time to full-time is the answer yes. Um, and if you want to make more money and save more time, that's another reason. Like some of you guys have pretty successful travel businesses, but because you haven't systematized your business, you are, it's driving you crazy because you don't have that work-life balance that can be fixed as well. So the number one reason in my why for wanting successful businesses is so I could work and travel full time, but most importantly, so I could work my business around my family. So if that's important to you, and my daughter just went off to college, I'm having all the feels this month, but when I look back at the last 18 years, oh man, we didn't miss anything. I didn't miss a dance recital, a volleyball, and also we traveled the world with our kids. Like they, she is well equipped to be out in the world but we were there for every minute and you don't get that time back. So if that is in alignment with where you are going with your travel business and you want to kind of have that path for yourself, I encourage you to check us out at Careers on Vacation. That is the program that teaches all of this stuff. Um, and I'm gonna share with you just a couple screens here to show you inside Wanderlust Campus. This is not an e-program, guys. Nobody's winning uh, Inc. 5000 for e-programs in our industry. This is, not just your on-demand curriculum, but you get to work live with my instructors, with my experts, those consultants and experts that I hired to fix things in my business. Guess who you get to work with? My team. You get tools like our booking academy that you're seeing on screen right now, which allows you to ask quick questions, get your questions and link to all the most important places in the industry. We have trackers like our goal tracker, our tools tracker um, that help you really map out your goals and we help you kind of create that vision as well. You get our partner portal where we have students, uh, student discounts and all kinds of goodies for you packed in there, uh, as well as understand we have the most case studies in the industry for an educational program in the travel industry. Super proud of that, and it's because of the people you're seeing on screen right now. This is my amazing team. Uh, these are the ones that help you. We all help you while you are in Wanderlust Campus with whatever your goals are. So we would be honored uh, to help you with your travel business wherever you are. Visit us at travelschool.com or I will link the application uh, for Careers on Vacation down below as well. If you are ready to apply, we are booking up like crazy for fall. Kids are back to school. Please apply early to get the class of your choice, but you can visit careersonvacation.com slash ready now and apply for Careers on Vacation. That is our flagship and most popular program. Uh, and every single one of those people I saw on the Utopia and at the GTM conference, guess what program they started with? Careers on Vacation. So I encourage you guys to check that out, but listen, wherever you are in your journey, I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. I'll see you next time. Cindy Williams. I'm Cindy Williams. Cindy Williams. Cindy, of course. Cindy, of course. Like, I'm a lifer with Cindy Williams, so <laughs> no sense. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all the content available to you on our channel. And I invite you to follow along, travel with me around the world as I grow and scale my travel businesses. You're gonna pick up some great tips, some great tricks on how you can grow your own travel brand too. I'm gonna to drop some links down below and also check out these videos I handpicked just for you.